Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. I thought it would be fun today, since it's a month until Valentine's Day, to share um, the decorations I have around my house, but also do a crochet Valentine's pattern roundup. Okay, so on all my doors every holiday, if you follow me for a while, you know that I always put something on all the doors in the hallway. And for Valentine's Day, I have these Dollar Tree things. Super easy to grab. Right here, I have a crochet piece that I made, I believe, in 2017. It's a paid-for pattern by Snappy Tots. It's one of her garden flags. I make them a lot just to decorate my house with. This one, I think, is called Buggy Garden Flag. It comes with a ladybug and a bumblebee. But the ladybug one is Valentine's E. Super cute. And then I got a pink heart right there. <laughs> Those are also hanging from my ceiling. They're just Dollar Tree. I think they came in sets of three. And then as you can see on the walls, I have glittery red hearts. Also Dollar Tree. <laughs> I have flowers. They're actually a reward for me losing some weight. Um, my first five pounds off was this reward, but they go with the theme, so woohoo. Right here, I have a cute cross stitch piece my sister made me. And it just says be my Valentine, and the back of it's got some uh, fleece on it. Super cute. I love it. She made me a Halloween one too. But I got this thing, <laughs> which me and Devin both think is kind of cute, but also kind of creepy. I got that at the thrift store. I thought it was vintage looking, so I bought it. And then down here, this was made by Llama Mama Kayla. I got this around last Valentine's Day from her when she did a swap. And I love it. It's actually out all year round because it's adorable and I love it. But it goes with Valentine's, so woo! And then the last thing is this banner that I made. This was a free crochet pattern on Ravelry, but the designer has since taken it down. But um, there are a couple out there you can find that's similar to it, and I'll talk about one of those in a few moments. So I thought it would just be fun to find some cute Valentine's themed patterns to share with you guys so that you can maybe make some to decorate your home with or to gift. And um, we love decorating for every holiday. <laughs> if you followed me for a while, you'll know that we, dec we put decorations out for every holiday, pretty much. And um, actually, I'm looking for groundhog <laughs> themed things. If anyone knows of any source resources that I can use, let me know. <laughs> but um, so I want to add more Valentine's decorations to my hoard. <laughs> so I'll probably have to work on them throughout the rest of the year because I didn't think to do it last year. But I found some really cute patterns. Some of them, the majority of them are free. There's a couple that are paid for patterns, but I just thought I would uh, share them with you guys. And I'm going to pop them up over here so you can see them. And then all the links will be in the description box if you want to check them out. All right, so this first one would be an adorable um, hat for your kid or yourself. You can make it larger, uh, especially if you live somewhere like we do where it's really cold around Valentine's Day. I live in Middle Tennessee, and usually February is one of our coldest months here. So uh, it almost always snows around Valentine's Day. But this is a super cute hat. It's called Valentine's Kitty Hat, and it's a free pattern by Not Your Nana's Crochet. <laughs> it's super cute. She also has a puppy one, I'm pretty sure. But I, I just grabbed the kitty one because it was pink <laughs> and Valentine's-y. Now this I thought would be a cute little gift um, for a kid or you know just anyone that you wanted to um, give a Valentine's Day gift to. And it's called the Valentine's Day Monster by Craft and Chocolate. <laughs> this one it was kind of hard to download this because you have to go into I think Google Docs to get it. But um, after you you know get through that step it's pretty easy. It, it downloads as a word pad and uh, then you can just open it up and the pictures there and the pattern. But it's super cute little um, amigurumi for gifting someone. And I just think it's cute. <laughs> now this next one is another cute little gift. And it has a little pocket on the front that you could put goodies down in or a little note. And I actually made one of these. I don't have it because I made it as a gift last year. The hot chocolate that I got from Llama Mama Kayla, it was during that uh, swap event. Uh, she got me, but I got someone else. Her name was Melanie. And um, so I made her that little, this little owl to give to her. And uh, she really loved it. And it, I loved making it. It was super cute. It's called the Owl I can't say it. Owl, like the bird. Always love you, Valentine's Caddy. And it's by Holly's Hobbies. And it is a free pattern. It is super cute. And it worked out pretty quick. And these are another cute little um, treat bag idea for giving candy to someone. Or even if you, uh, you know, have a kid that's going to school, you can make up a bunch quickly for the classmates or teachers or whatever. And it's called the Valentine's Day Mini Treat Bags by Blackstone Designs. It's a free pattern on their blog. And it's super cute. It looks like it's super quick and easy, and you could probably just use scrap yarns to make it. Okay, since that one heart that I made a bunting out of is not available anymore, the pattern isn't, I found a, another bunting that I thought would be cute if you wanted something similar to that. You could just add a 
a shell border around it because I kind of made mine look like doilies. <laughs> I remembered making coffee filter doilies in school and they looked like that. They were hearts with like the ripples around it. That's the reason I loved that and wanted to make it. But this one is called the Jumbo Valentine's Day Heart Bunting by Crochet Verse and it is a free pattern. And uh, I just thought it was cute and was fairly similar to it and same effect. <laughs> I might actually make one of these for another spot in my living room eventually. Maybe not this year, but eventually. This next one I am currently working on, and it is a free pattern. It's called the Valentine's Day Countdown by Loops and Love. And I do have the background already done. It's a big corner to corner heart. And all I, all I have to make is the pockets and the little heart decorations and the one that you move to count down. And I also got to get buttons or make some sort of count, you know, number thing for it. But I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's all done. I thought this would be so cute. It's kind of like an advent calendar. But for Valentine's Day, um, I think Jesse will enjoy it. I'm going to put little candies down in there so that he can count down to Valentine's Day because we do give gifts for Valentine's Day. Um, me, my husband, and Jesse, we all, you know, we all get gifts for each other, <laughs> basically. So it, it's another big holiday in our family. So I think it'd be fun for him to count down to it. And this is another cute banner that I found that I would love to make this eventually too. It would be cute hanging from like a mantle or something. And it's called the Love Banner by Pattern Paradise. It is a free pattern. <laughs> like I said, majority of these are free. I just thought this was so cute and uh, it would look cute for Valentine's Day, but you could also hang it up for anniversaries or if someone just got married, it would be a cute little, you know, addition to the party or a gift even uh, for the newlyweds or for an anniversary people <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> just anyone you love, really, it's love. <laughs> Now this one I've seen uh, for a while, for a couple of years, and I've been wanting and wanting and wanting to make it, I just haven't got around to it. And it's called the Love Pillow, and it is a free pattern by Little Squirrel Designs. And I just thought it was so cute. I've seen some similar to this that say other words, but I just really love the love one. <laughs> and I'd like to make it one day for our couch, maybe a couple of them, uh, to put out during Valentine's season. Now this next one is a paid for pattern. It's another one by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots, and it's another garden flag, but it's called her Love Flag, and it's just a Valentine's themed uh, flag. I thought this would be another cute uh, decoration, like I have mine hung up, or if you wanted to, you could actually put it outside, <laughs> since it is meant to be a garden flag, but um, it's too wet and cold this time of year here to uh, put crochet stuff outside without it getting destroyed, probably. <laughs> but I just, you know, it'd be cute hanging up somewhere, and there's usually empty spaces that you can hang cute things like that. And I'll pop up the other one, which is called the Buggy Garden Set. And it's the one I showed you with the ladybug on it. And there's also a bumblebee. And um, I just thought the ladybug one was cute and Valentine's-y because of the colors. And it's a ladybug, which are usually associated with love. <laughs> now, this one is a really cute doily type pattern. I thought this would be so cute to set with like a bouquet of flowers on it. Kind of like I have my blue one over there. Or uh, just set anywhere with like some trinkets on it on a table that people could see it. And it's called the Hearts Bouquet by Marsha Glassner. It's a free pattern and it's super cute and I would love to make this, it's beautiful. I want all kinds of stuff like this to put on all the surfaces in my house. And uh, I have a supportive husband who loves crochet too, so I might be able to do that one of these days. And these next three are dishcloths, but um, because of the way they look, you know, they're hearts and such, you could use them as either dishcloths or just decorative pieces around your house. Because the hearts up there that I made that banner out of were actually, um, I think she had them marketed as like coasters or um, something to the effect of that. And I just thought they'd be cute as a bunting. So you could really take anything like that and make a bunting out of it or, you know, whatever you wanted to. You could even put a whole bunch together and make a little throw or something. Or one of those things people drape over like the sides of chairs. <laughs> but um, the first one is called Heart Dish Cloth by N Natasia. And it's a free pattern. And I just thought it was super cute and it's a heart. So <laughs> hearts are perfect for this time of the year. The second one is called My Heart Is Yours by Craft Away the Crazy, which is a funny name. But again, I just thought it was another cute um, heart shape uh, dishcloth. It's a bobble stitch, so it, it looks really cool. And uh, you could use it, you can make a few to give to someone for Valentine's Day with like a Valentine's Day colored themed hand soap or something. It would be really cute. And then the third one is a corner to corner heart uh, washcloth by Pattern Paradise. And again, it's free. And I just, again, I thought it was cute. You could either make a banner out of it or just make a couple of them to gift to someone for Valentine's Day. And then the last pattern I have to share that I found and thought was adorable is called The Grandma's Heart by Carola, and I can't say the last name. 
uh, but it will be links below. But I just thought this was such a beautiful piece, and I can't wait to make one of these. I want to make one, like, right now. <laughs> and that would be, the way they're super textured, and they got, like, a cool border around it, that would be awesome to make for a bunting. Or uh, just a gift to give someone. Like, if you give them a vase of flowers, you could attach it to the vase, and it would just be really pretty. And a cute Valentine's Day decoration or a gift. Alright, so that was just a bunch of Valentine's Day patterns that I came across through my time of searching all over the internet. <laughs> and I wanted to share them with you guys and hopefully inspire you to make some cute uh, decorations for your house or to make some cute gifts to give to people for Valentine's Day. I know a lot of us crafters like to do swaps, so these would be cute ideas to add into our swap packages along with some yarn and other goodies. <laughs> Chocolate, of course, because Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.